You guys can see here it's the front of the Dodge here. Over on this side you've got the radiator, you've got the transmission cooler, power steering cooler, and over on that side is the AC condenser. The fan is on the back side of that there. And uh, yeah, we're going to take that apart. There's a couple of little tricks uh, to it. One of the things that they did was designed it so <laughs> it's not easy to take off unless you disconnect the AC and get it, uh, get it evacuated and all kinds of other stuff. You don't need to do that. There's a quick way around it. And we'll show you guys how to do that here in just a few minutes. Like we were talking about earlier, the uh, fan for the AC condenser is not kicking on when it's supposed to. We checked the relays, we checked the fuses, all that stuff's going on. This fan's still not kicking on, which means it's not cooling off the refrigerant, which means hot air in the cab, unless you're doing like 65 miles an hour down the freeway. So we're gonna be changing this guy out. <clears throat> First thing you're going to want to do, obviously, before you work on anything electrical in a vehicle, make sure you disconnect the battery so you don't zap yourself. That's never fun. Battery's 10 millimeter. Go ahead and pop that off there. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> and uh, then we're going to take off uh, these upper bolts here. These top bolts up here are 13 millimeter. Go ahead and change those out. 13 millimeter bolts up here. So we don't lose them. There's a bolt uh, down on the underside. It's kind of self-explanatory. You go up and look. It's 13 millimeter as well. Need to remove that out of there. And you can see this thing's pretty free here. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this electrical connection real quick. Show you guys that. There's a little red tab right here on this uh, plug. Slide it to one side, and then there's a uh, right here. Push this guy in and uh, pull this out. Like that. This is uh, where you would test the uh, power to make sure you got 12 volts going to the fan before you get into the stage that we're in right now. As you can see, the fan nice and loose. We're going to go ahead and uh, this is a compressor line here. Runs all the way across. It's in these little plastic tabs right here. We're going to pop those loose real quick and just let this thing kind of free float so we have a little bit of maneuverability so it's hard to do one-handed <laughs> right there, there another one here just kind of let it free float a little bit and there's another one up here on the fender well right here see a lot of videos where you have to uh, disconnect the radiator we're going to try doing it without that <coughs> we're going to try and uh, disconnect this front member here and uh, kind of lift up on it see if we can't get the fan out of there shouldn't be that hard it's already kind of loose we just need to be able to pop it up a little more <laughs> and then uh, slide it out all right so this is the top cross member for the holds the radiator support in the whole nine yards right there uh, these are 13 millimeter at two here two on the other side we're going to try and disconnect those see if we can't lift this up and then kind of wiggle everything out Looking at this situation here, it looks like uh, what we're going to have to do, let's see if I can point you guys in the right direction, how about that? There is a bolt here that holds the radiator on to this, so we're going to take that out so we can pull this up to get this out. Probably 13 mil, let's check it out.
All right, we'll just set that aside. Now let's go ahead and go over to the other side. Pick you guys up. Get over here. And do the same thing with uh, these two bolts on this side. guys out. <laughs> that should uh, loosen this guy up and you should just be able to kind of lift it right out of there. And we're going to take it and set it on the side. It still has the uh, cable attached to it for the um, hood release over on that side over here. Let's see if you guys can see that or not. Yeah. If you look over here, here's the cable release over there. So we're going to go ahead and gently move this aside. Pop that out of there if we wanted to, but I don't want to break it, so I'm just going to leave it. Now let's take a look and see if this will come up and out like we want it to. Maybe. Alright. <clears throat> now you want to be careful when you're doing this so you don't, uh, you don't damage the actual condenser coil. Now this is the part, this is the part here that uh, we were talking about earlier. They make this from the factory so that it's one piece and they put it on uh, after they put this on. So you'd have to disconnect the line and everything. We're just going to cut this here and here and do the same thing on the new fan so we can slide it off and on without too much of a deal or too much of an issue. Alright, so I'm going to go get something to cut that. Alright, so I'm going to give these a shot. See if we can't use that to cut this. This is just plastic right here. So, get something to cut plastic. Just be careful you don't damage the coil. Alright, there goes that. <laughs> So now this is free and uh, we can push that forward and uh, get this uh, housing off of here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so now that this is free, we have uh, all of the bolts out. Now there's some bolts <clears throat> on the sides of this here. There's four. You got two on this side, one upper, one lower, and then on the other side as well. And that holds the fan to this coil. So we've got this free. We're going to go ahead and reach in there and get those guys out too. Uh, looks like they're uh, looks like they're Torx bits, but you can also put a driver on there. So we're going to go ahead and go with the driver. Looks like it's 10 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and undo those guys. One out, three to go. And we gotta do the same thing the other side. Another one. And then uh, there's one on the side down at the bottom too. I'll take you guys on down there. See how that works with the camera. <laughs> Not that you can really see, but here's the fan up there, and then uh, in the side of that is where that nut is. I'm not going to be able to stick you up in there because i got too many things in the way. So 
So give it just a second. And we'll see what we got here. You guys can check out the ground while I'm fiddling with that. How's that? <laughs> Alright, so here's your last one there. We'll go ahead and take you guys back up top side. Got the four side bolts out there. Have them up here. Go ahead and put this back down here. <clears throat> Alright, now, should come out a little bit easier than it did last time. Let's see if we can't uh, wiggle that guy out of there, shall we? That's much better. up here and see if we can't move some of this stuff out of our way shall we and again make sure you're careful with that coil so there's an electrical connection the wire for that comes up it goes through a little plastic uh, little plastic doodah <laughs> that's stuck in the side that's what's causing us some issues so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off real quick And there's that. So just finagle it. Be careful. Finagle it out. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, new piece, shall we? Now this came from the uh, UPS ferry last night. From UPS. This is our new part. part here nice and shiny even has that new plastic smell mm -hmm. make sure the connector is the same and that it plugs into the same wire and looking at that uh, it does in fact uh, look like it goes on there go ahead and plug it in just to make sure and it does and it clicks into place all right now if you remember earlier so we check the connector, connector plugs in like it's supposed to. Um, remember here, we have to cut this off so that we can get the, uh, the stuff back in there. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. This one has a larger flange it looks like, but same process. We're just gonna go ahead and cut that guy out of there. Remember, doing this uh, prevents you from having to evacuate the system and uh, taking off hoses and then repressurizing all that stuff that you have to do at a shop. So, hard to do this for a camera. Got that out. All right. And now we got to put this back in here. Uh, we've cut this out so that we can get the uh, hose set right back up in there. Now remember to be careful so you don't mess up your uh, your condenser. One thing I forgot to mention, before you put on the new fan, get it set down in there, you need these little rubber feet. Those little rubber feet change over 
they just kind of pull off. Need to put these rubber feet on the bottom of your new fan. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and stick those on there real quick. You just got to keep finagling until it uh, gets in there and you got to be careful uh, the uh, hose back here was in the way a little bit so I had to move that some but uh, now those rubber feet are back in down there let's go ahead and put uh, these back in the sides Now, who noticed those uh, <laughs> bolts that were up here? They went flying all over the place earlier. Ah, gonna have to find that one now. All right, now that the battery's back after uh, it died there, uh, we have this back in here. Remember the bolts that fell off? Found those, got those in. Um, the little rubber feet that are down here at the bottom that you transferred from the old fan. There's little holes for them to go in down at the frame area. Um, the other one you gotta remember, here's the old fan old fan uh, you're gonna need this rubber grommet out of here too I'm gonna take that and you're gonna put that right here <clears throat> get that guy right in there make sure that those feet go down in the holes they're supposed to be in I'll just finagle it in there there we go and then we're gonna put the bolts back in the uh, four bolts that we put in that were Mm, 13 millimeter from earlier. <clears throat> I have those bolts down here. Or three, rather. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That was three bolts from earlier. Got to put those back in. 13 mil. Uh, we're gonna put the one run over here. Get it most of the way snug. We'll snug it down the rest of the way here when we get. Uh, when we get this lined up with a crossbar that goes across here. All right, one of the things we missed is another rubber grommet. <laughs> so double check your uh, radiator or your uh, fan shroud for those extra rubber grommets. I was trying to, I'm like, what is going on here? And uh, yeah, another rubber grommet. I was wondering about that. <laughs> That one goes right over here. Totally spaced it. So yeah, pay attention. Note to self. <laughs> Go ahead and throw that in there. I was wondering what was going on. It's like, hmm. It's like it almost needs like a washer or a grommet or something. And well, lo and behold, there she is. All right, and then you can put the actual right bolt in. <laughs> oh, man. Apparently it's one of those days. Alright, let's dry that again, shall we? Alright. Now uh, this one goes uh, down underneath. We'll get to that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get this cross piece back on. First, uh, you guys remember we disconnected, uh, let's see, you guys can't see that. Um, remember we pulled this uh, out of the clips all the way up and over there. We need to put that back in real quick, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and get the ones up over here. All right, got that back in. 
we'll go ahead and pull this cross piece back up. Nice and easy. And we'll just set that back right where it goes. And uh, let's see, can you guys see that? All right, we're gonna go ahead and let me tilt you back up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this cross piece back up and uh, get these uh, bolts started in here. And we got two on the other side as well. Go ahead and check that out over there put these guys in, get them started up. All right, let's go ahead and get those cinched down just a little bit. And your best bet for getting those lined back up is make sure the uh, bolts go in in exactly the same position they were uh, before. Um, you can kind of see where they lined up. If you don't get them lined up just right, then you'll have some issues with alignment when you close the hood. We'll double check that as we go here. And then we'll go over here to these guys. We'll get these in. So again, just make sure that uh, it's kind of awkward doing it backwards for a camera, but let me pop over to the other side. <laughs> All right, there we go. Anyway, uh, just make sure they line up where they were originally. You can tell where the wear marks are usually, especially on vehicles that's old. Not that uh, 2003 is actually that old. Now we have to rehook up uh, the, the uh, radiator and uh, the compressor to that cross member as well. Let's see if you guys can see that. Oh, you guys are a little close there. Go. go ahead and bolt these guys back up where they're supposed to be. Start out hand tightening, make sure we don't get anything cross threaded or anything weird like that. And it's a good thing we're doing this today because. Uh, Supposed to be, I think, 97. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right, we got these two guys on. We got this one last one we're gonna go ahead and put down below. Not that you guys will be able to see that. A little crowded under there. Well, let's go ahead and get these wires hooked up and out of the way. Now the original one came with, uh, had a socket built into the thing. This one's a little bit different, but it should work the same. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the battery and uh, give this thing a test. Okay. Now, if I remember right, that was a, what was that? That was a, a 10 millimeter right there. And a 10 millimeter, luckily still on the socket. Go ahead and snug that up a little bit. Looks like it's cleared up and out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start it up and uh, see if this fan kicks on. You guys will know before I do because I'm gonna leave you out here. So listen for that fan to click on. Hopefully, let's see if I can tell if you guys can see that or not. 
There we go. Now it's saying it's now running before it was not running. Let's go inside and do a temperature test, shall we? All right. We have the AC all the way on. We got it on recirculate. Let's go ahead and turn that thing on high, shall we? So uh, that's the quick and dirty way to get her done. There's a couple other ways. Uh, definitely not an expert by any means, but sometimes you gotta get your stuff done, and that's one way to get her done. Let's see what happens, shall we?